Okay, go ahead. What are you doing? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? I am knocking on the door. I told you they haven't checked out of the hotel yet. <laughs> well, if they haven't checked out, and they won't hear it. If they have, they will. Will you quit with that? There's a lady across the hall with big ears. How big? Huge. Then don't set me up. Then knock it off. Look, I ain't taking a lot of risk for you here. Okay? This is a long shot. It's not a long shot. I think Kirk's gonna bury himself with us. Okay, one, two, three. Go. So take your time. Sounds to me like the residence is now vacant. Yes, could you please send a bellhop to room 425? Thank you. Well, does that mean the honeymoon's over? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't wake you up. Are you going to leave without me? No, I was going to leave you a note, and I figured you could catch up with me later. Well, what's the hurry? I mean, I thought we'd have a little bit of breakfast here. We don't have to check out for another three hours. You are the oh, boss okay, of this Kirk, hotel. I wanted, we could have... I wanted to go now. Well, why am I acting surprised? Let me pack up so we can leave together. Kirk, you said you'd understand that you wouldn't get angry with me like you are now. I do, and, and, and I'm not, Eden. The fact is, I am a little disappointed. You don't understand. I, I'm in love with you. Look, I think things will be a little bit differently when we get to the... when we get home. Home meaning? Well, I guess your apartment, unless you'd like to stay at the house. No, I don't think that's a very good idea. Yeah, my apartment till we find something better. You know, I would like to go to the house, though. Kelly's going to be home this morning. I'd like to be there to tell her about us. Before somebody else breaks the news to Sorry, scratch that. I'll be ready in five. 